hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i will show you how to run one image model using my optimized workflow that works smoothly even on low vram pc with only 6 GB of vram we will walk through the full setup and cover some key improvement that i add to make the workflow both efficient and flexible like the four step lora integration the upscaling nodes the image to text prompt converter and the style selector that allows you to choose any style that you want by the end, you will have fully optimized Comfy UI workflow tailored for low VRAM systems while delivering high quality Equan image generation. The model is tested for the different tasks like simple and multi text rendering, style changing, advertising, and photorealistic image. So, without further ado, let's dive into tutorial. Before using this model, you need to download the necessary files for uh, the workflow, starting with the Quan image FP8 version. All you need to do here is click on this link and it will start downloading automatically. The model also needs uh, its own text encoder and its own VAE to decode the images. The text encoder is going to help you to translate the prompt and the, for the VAE it's going to decode the, the image uh, from the key sampler. All you have to do here is also clicking on this link and it will start downloading automatically. Once it is done, you have to put every model in the, the right uh, folder, starting with the Q8 FP8. Just go to your Comfy UI root folder, enter model, and here you can see that we have the diffusion model. Make sure to enter here and paste the FP8 uh, model on this subfolder. For the text encoder, just make sure to go uh, under a clip subfolder and paste your model here. And lastly, search for VAE on the model subfolder and paste the Quan VAE here and if you are looking to use the GGUF version you can use this link under my description where you can find different uh, GGUF version of this Quan image model for my test I used the Q4KS version all you have to do is click download then once it is finished go again onto your comfy Y root folder enter model and here you can search for unit subfolder make sure to paste your model here and the final thing that you need to download is the four steps lora you can use the link under my description or directly uh, provided in this workflow open up this link and here you can click to download the button once it is done make sure to go into your comfy ui root folder enter the model subfolder search for lora and paste your model here once it is done Make sure to open up the Comfy UI, then go to Manager and update Comfy UI. Since when uh, image model is uh, natively supported in Comfy UI, so you will need uh, to do this update. If this uh, can't work for you, make sure to do the update with the, the other way by going into your Comfy UI root folder, search for this update folder, and here you can open up this update Comfy UI. Once it is done, it will uh, restart your uh, Comfy UI and we are good to use uh, the Quen image workflow. Good, now that you open up Comfy UI again, make sure to go to workflow, browse template and here select image. If the update is successfully installed, you can find here the Quen image to text workflow. Let's open up this workflow and it is very simple and basic workflow where you need to load the diffusion model. For the fp8 version the load clip for uh, the text encoder and the vae we also have this empty this latent and if you take closer look here you can see that we are using 20 steps cfg of 2.5 the simpler name of euler and the simple scheduler is pretty simple however it takes a lot of vram it can take 30 minutes to create only one image at uh, 1024 by 1024 so in order uh, to optimize the thing i built up my own workflow and to open this workflow all you have to do here is downloading using the description link then just drop and drag it here once you open up your uh, my workflow you can see that we have different uh, main group as always the first uh, main group is uh, dedicated for models i am using the ggf loader to load my coin image ggf then I added two main LoRa loader models uh, only, starting with the Quen image lighting, four steps, and the LoRa model only, 
in order to add some realism or effect. After that, I have here my load clip and load VAE. My resolution here is set to 1024 by 1024. And I also added a load upscale model. Then here I have uh, my uh, text encoding uh, main group that is directly connected to the pumping group. Here I am using a load image in order to use the flans to run. It will create a basic workflow for my text encoder. Then according to my styles, you can choose here any style that you want. It will add some additional keywords in order for you to, uh, to get the best results with this model. After that, this positive text is directly uh, connected here. And if you are looking to add your own positive uh, prompt, all you have to do here is take this git prompt and you will be able to enter your prompt here. But for now, I will use directly this git prompt. Okay. Now let's see the main difference in the key sampler. Here we are using uh, steps number of four and the CFG is set to one. For the sampler name, I am using the Euler and for the scheduler, it's set to beta. Once that it is done, the image is gonna be decoded and saved here. That's pretty classic and simple workflow. However, I also managed to add coin upscaling group, which will first increase the resolution of uh, this uh, generated image using this key sampler. It will upscale it to four times. Then it will uh, <coughs> be encoded using this VAE encode at the half resolution. And for in uh, using this key sampler with the steps of four, CFG of one and the denoise value set to 0 0.23, it will allow me to get the high resolution uh, results with the 2K resolution in a short amount of time. So I also tested out this uh, workflow by generating directly a full HD resolution here and compare the generation time in order for you to give you uh, the, the, the difference between upscaling using these nodes or generating directly a full uh, HD resolution. And if we zoom in here, you can see that using this uh, workflow, I managed to create uh, an image uh, with the 1024 by 10, 1024 at uh, 48 seconds. Then I did a test at full HD resolution and it took me 138 seconds. For my next text, I tried the coin four steps with Crea upscaling into 2K and it took me 416 seconds. And finally, I uh, used the four steps with upscaling using the coin four steps model two and it took me 3062 seconds it is the fastest way to obtain 2k resolution and to see if this workflow really works for 6 GB of vram i chose this image of this lady here in uh, because we have uh, here a photorealistic style of a lady singing with the text into his uh, shirt and also the hair color seems very complex to render so this image is a good challenge for this model I'm gonna click run and we will see together how it is generated. Okay, we have our results here. As you can see, it takes 49 seconds to create the first image at the 1024 by 1024 resolution. Then the upscaling group took 258 seconds in order to create the 2K resolution version. So as you can see, it really worked very smooth and without uh, any issue or crashing. Okay, the first test that I did is uh, testing out the text rendering ability of this model and the first image that was created is this image of this chinese student at the writing on the table as you can see it successfully created the image uh, with uh, embedding text and you can clearly see that it is realistic and satisfying another uh, example of this of text rendering is the image of this man holding a gun you can see that the fingers looks uh, good at the exception of this middle fingers here. However, the text rendering is also quite uh, impressive. The same thing for this uh, image advertising. I added this text here and it uh, successfully created the, the image of this man standing. Quen image also has the ability to generate uh, Chinese text and uh, you can see that it managed to create both text styles. I don't know if it is really Chinese, however, it, uh, it is very satisfying and good looking. 
we also did the text for this uh, soda advertising image and you can see that the quality is very impressive and the model always is sticking into the text rendering for the photorealistic uh, image creation you can clearly see that uh, the image looks very good and impressive if we compare this uh, flux crea or 12.2 you can say that uh, it is uh, at the same level so it can create photorealistic images with the photorealistic texture too and uh, all of this in short amount of time using uh, only 6 GB of VRAM. You can choose to directly uh, generate an image with high resolution or you can uh, choose the upscaling method in order to get uh, good results too. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, Please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments down below and don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow. You can also ask me to build a custom workflow for your needs. So thank you.